So plot twist part two. I didn't even know there was more episodes. Sometimes when my brother and I watch shows and he's got the episodes, you know, um, he doesn't necessarily realize that there was more episodes. We watched this uh, zombie show this one time, like, uh, I think it's called We Are All Dead or something, and we missed the last episode because, like, we just thought the other ending was, like, the real ending, you know? And So this actually feels a lot more um, like a solid ending, the last few episodes there. So, spoilers for actually for the last few episodes, you know? Um, yeah, like... It ties up some loose threads, you know, like, uh, you hear all about these, like, holy hunter guys, um, run by fucking Derek from The Good Place, you know, Derek, you know, <laughs> if anybody's one person who's seen my Good Place review, anyway, uh, yeah, fucking Derek from The Good Place, uh, fucking is, is the hunter, like, the holy hunter, like, head guy, and, uh, that episode is pretty significant because um, we actually get like kind of a backstory to Evelyn the car and like um, how John like found Evelyn and all this stuff and just like a little bit of his past and stuff kind of to foreshadow a couple of things in the ending there and then like in the next season I would suppose for real this time this this time the season's actually over so um, yeah so that was cool. Um, there's kind of a crazy moment where he has to choose between Evelyn, like, going back for her, or going, uh, with Quiet, and he chooses Evelyn, Evelyn gets blown up, which is crazy, and, you know, so he has to kind of learn to move on, and so they have to patch things up over the next few episodes again, because she's pissed about that, and, you know, she, she thought he, he was dead, too, she saw an explosion and just kind of assumed, but, um, yeah. And, and it's funny how, like, actually, like, emotional they make the ending. At first, you're kind of just like, oh, okay, like, how emotional can it be, right? But then it's like, no, they actually do a decent job of getting you, like, kind of emotional over this car's death. So, I felt it, you know, by the end. It's cool. You know, definitely neat. Um, so, yeah, that kind of tied up that arc, I guess, a little bit, or, like, that little detail, and then... Also with the car and get you more invested in that. and then, So then uh, they actually run into the, uh, like, the convoy again. Like the, you know, big 18-wheeler, big rigs over the road racing, you know, whatever. Um, they run into them again. And that's where Quiet is now. I guess they save Quiet from, like, the vultures, which I guess is a thing. Uh, so... Yeah. A lot, a, lot of, a lot of more characters, you know, I just wonder, is this part of the, uh, like, it's gotta be from the game, right? Like, obviously. So, um, yeah, so there's that. So then they're, they're with them again, trying to fix up a new car. They patch up their relationship and whatnot, and, uh, what's great is we actually get, like, little bits again, like, when I thought it was the finale, I'm like, okay, this makes sense. Like, we're setting up a season two where it's, like, getting back to San Francisco. Well, they say, fuck that, and they just do that over a couple of episodes, which is what, kind of what I was expecting until the series just ended, I thought. You know, so I thought. But what I like is the episode after that is just... or like the, It's like the beginning of the final episode is just... Like, a, a real... They set it up at the end of the previous episode, but it's, like, just everyone's there, and it's, like, an actual Twisted Metal Brawl. Like, Sweet Tooth's there, you know, the fucking cop guys there, Stone's there, um... The convoy's there, you know, you got, like, um, John and Quiet are there, you know? And it, it, it's just, like, it's an actual Twisted Metal, like, battle, like, from the gate from the games, you know, like, where they... Everyone's kind of fighting each other, and, um... You know, it's like, you want to love Sweet Tooth, but of course, he's a little chaotic, so he, 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 he betrays and is betrayed by Stu and, and, uh, the other guy whose name I don't remember, um, who Stu ends up kind of teaming up with again. 
and he saves him in the end and actually goes against Sweet Tooth and um I mean we see Sweet Tooth's like mask there, but come on, he's coming back. He's gotta come back, right? His head, he even he even like catch he puts his head on fire or whatever. I mean it would be a good like last hurrah for him, but I, I he's gotta come back, right? They set up this whole tournament for like the second season. That's probably gonna be a lot more of those kind of scenes and stuff. So I, I'm assuming he's gotta be a player in that, you know, so um, but yeah, that whole battle is really epic, and it kind of ends finally. I mean, a lot of, uh, a lot of, a lot of destruction and death in that, and then, but it finally kind of ends with Quiet and John, like, um, they, they're, like, going at, you know, at the same, um, to stone, and he, like, goes and flips over his vehicle, and they're, like, unconscious, and then he's, like, walking towards them, and he's got her, like, standing there with the gun and he's like having his monologue about law and stuff and she's telling him how bullshit that is and of course he's he's monologuing you know like in the incredibles and then uh that's what i was thinking every, whenever he's fucking doing that whenever he's monologuing that's what i was thinking i'm like he's monologuing and so then john of course i knew it i knew it as soon as i saw that and th they set up earlier that there's like a axe in the in the glove compartment he's sitting shotgun so I'm like, I know, I know, she can't wake him up, he's gonna fucking throw the axe, it's gonna go into the guy's head, and then she's gonna be able to, to take him down. Which is exactly what happens. But she doesn't kill him, she... It's not mercy, because he's already got, like, an axe in him, and, and he's definitely gonna die either way. And she's like, you can take the, the slow and painful way, or you can take the quick way. And then he shoots himself, supposedly, uh, some kind of gunfire is there. We'll see if he actually died. I mean, I assume he did, but, you know, the rule is if you don't see him die, then, like, they're not dead, right? Like, so, we'll see. It, it's to be implied that he died, but, you know, the same thing with Sweet Tooth, but, of course, you know, they're not gonna kill Sweet Tooth, right? Um, so, I don't know. But, yeah, so they finally make it past him, and they get back to San Francisco, and they're standing there at the gates, and... And he's trying to bring Quiet in, and they don't like that, and, you know, of course, they've, they've made the drop, and he goes in without her, because she, she forces him to, basically. She's like, this is everything you've ever wanted. You gotta go in there, and you gotta make the most of it. And he tries to come back towards her, and, and she shoots him, like, it's crazy. And so he goes in there, um... Okay, so then, now, of course, the lady's, like, true intentions have to be kind of revealed. He has a normal life for a while, but he doesn't like it. He gets what he thinks he wanted, but he didn't want it. You know, that's the whole classic hero's journey, you know? That's, we're not at the end yet. He, he doesn't have what he wanted, but he realizes what he wanted was quiet and the life on the road, because that's, while it's dangerous, it's everything he's ever had you know he's, he's always been out there fighting for adventure and stuff and it turns out like this lady of course it, the stupidest reason she sent him out on a run so that he could pick up ice cream from calypso who we still haven't seen by the way um just as a test to see if he could do it and apparently nobody else ever like got there and got back and, so, yeah, so that's fucked. Apparently she wants him to, to go out and, and do, like, more runs or, or something. Not like a milkman run, but he's gonna go out again for some reason. And she's like, um, the big reveal at the end there is she kind of, like, must know something about his backstory or something. Because she knows the house that he, like, grew up in. Because, you know, he's got amnesia or whatnot. So she gives him all these pictures from his past. And, and even then, he's still like, nah, this isn't me. I don't even, I, I'm not even this person. I don't even know who this is. I mean, this is me in the picture, but like, that's not me anymore, you know? Like, and then she kind of shows her true colors, you know, that it's, that's, um, that she's not as like, good of a person as, as she's not just being altruistic about all of this she's she's like basically she's like i'll you know i'll give you answers 
um, for whatever it is. We don't know yet, but then we see Quiet out there, which, and what, what she's doing is cool. She's actually, like, stealing from other milkmen to give to the needy people, like, that are surrounding the cities or just, like, the homeless, you know, basically those kind of people. She's being, like, a Robin Hood, which is cool. I like that. I like that for her character, too. I think that's, that definitely fits. And then at some point there, she gets stopped, uh, you know, everyone surrounds her and there's like all these like really creepy like mask people and uh like the leader walks up and she's all like i think you know my brother and, and she's like what and like and she's like yeah my brother john doe and it's like oh shit like this is his sister apparently i don't i don't fucking know apparently she's probably some other character from the game, you know, it's like, I, I feel like I'm, I'm missing a lot because I haven't, like, played the game, so I don't know all these references to these characters, but still, it's, it's cool. Like, I, this is a much better ending. I still think the other ending was great, but we actually got to see, like, a real Twisted Metal Brawl, like, match, which was cool as shit. Like, we got the stone stuff resolved, like, that was fucking cool. I, I, they easily, easily could have rested on their moral, ro morals or whatever the saying is and done a second season where it's just them coming back and having to fight Stone along the way, you know, Sweet Tooth coming in and helping them, betraying them at some point or some shit. That would have been great. And then the, the finale of that season could have been the finale of this season, but they, they just uh, extradited the process. They just streamlined it. It's, it's there, and it works. It's fine. It's totally great you know I'm, I'm all for it so i'm excited for season two but like i think i was more excited for season two when i was thinking about all of this stuff that could happen and now this stuff has happened so it's like season two is gonna be great but it's like also a lot of the stuff i wanted to see is has already happened now so um i can't believe she sent him out for fucking ice cream that she didn't even like the ice cream she's just been being a bitch about it so she kind of sets him up in this life. I know I didn't really mention much about that, but everyone's kind of a stage actor around him, like even his friends. It's all kind of staged. Um, and that gets revealed later and stuff, so... But yeah. So, the last few episodes were great. I, I didn't even know they existed. Um, really excited for season two. Um, yeah, so... Had to do this. It's basically as long as the first video. Um, because there's a lot, it's a very eventful second half. So, um, until next time, uh, this has been Emmy Ania saying keep it classic. Stick around for more reviews, underrated games. I'll see you guys in the next one. Emily, out.